Hey guys, uh, hey YouTube, like I said, I'm back, um, I just didn't want to have this running for too long. I'm not going to be able to show you that OpenGL is running because the screen recorder I use doesn't let me use it, but I will show you everything you need, give you all the resources to run it. This is for more of an advanced user, you're going to be running games on your computer, or at least you're going to want to run them through Wine. Um, Really easy, you're just going to look up Hybrid Graphics Tutorial Linux, right there. <coughs> the top one. I'm going to scroll down. Uh, he gives you all of the instructions. They're all correct. You're going to go through all of them, okay? Make sure you do all of them. The only one that's not right is this one right here. And I'll show you guys what you're going to wind up having to do. You're not going to have to make a new file for this, but it's going to be a different uh, pathway. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this part right here. You're going to delete it up to there, okay? So that way you just have backslash user, backslash lib. Ugh, sorry, I can't talk right now. And you're just going to put in 32 right there, okay? Save that. Or, I guess, don't save it, but you're going to put this into a terminal, okay? You're going to paste it right here, okay? And that'll put all your... Uh, system32 files in the right place. You're going to want to come back to this, go through all of it. Um, you're going to run into something really awesome, because when it gets to this part at the very end to make sure you have it, you're going to paste it in. It's going to give you like a five second wait, and then give you this coolest thing ever. Give it a sec. Boom! Cannot initialize NVIDIA GPU because NVIDIA sucks at making drivers for Linux, apparently. Um, you're going to want to do this part too, right here, the sudo git NVIDIA. Do not copy the and sign, it's not part of the code and make sure you just change this part and that's all you want to change and then you save it okay and then because you're running a Lenovo Y500 something series it works for 400 something whatever it works on basically any Lenovo idea pad that I've run into um quick warning I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your computer uh, earlier in this video or if you're following instructions after this part this is a hack. Uh, you can read basically what he's saying. It's nerd speak. And it's also British because we don't do kilometers per hour or whatever. Kilometers. I don't care. Um, you're going to put all these in to your terminal. I recommend doing them one by one. Make sure you don't get this part in. The uh, dollar signs and then the hashtags. You don't want those in. You're going to want to run this part one by one guys you're gonna wind up running this once you get everything working um, also one thing I forgot to show you sorry before before we go on I'd like to get this straight just for the special people that don't read the instructions correctly because some special person had this problem you want to make sure you put in your username where it says your username here right there okay can I light it up anymore for you guys um, make sure you do that or else bumblebee will not work and your opti run will give you an error that says you're not added to the repository or to the uh, Damien or demon or whatever you want to call it who cares how you pronounce it run all of these 
be careful guys you want to put them in correctly because if you don't put them in right you may have to reinstall your OS so you're gonna open this you're gonna copy this control C open up new terminal control alt T control shift V to paste that you're gonna want to go back to the beginning and put in sudo except for you have to spell it correctly type in your password it's gonna say off okay every time you restart your computer and you run that it's gonna say off at least for me that's what it is you're gonna come down here make sure you you run these through root privileges so sudo control shift v enter it turns it on um, you want to make sure it's really on run this the cat proc acpi bb switch um run it in sudo it hasn't really made a difference for me it's gonna say off for me because the screen record I'm using doesn't let you use OpenGL um, there are some programs that will not let you use OpenGL so be sure you if you're gonna run a game or something and you want it to work the first time and not get super worried about it make sure it's a clean reboot okay and to run programs you're gonna do opti run and then whatever program it is that way it'll work with OpenGL because you need that ignore the wired network it's, it's being stupid once again as I said earlier all this will be in a paste bin file um, and I'll have a link in the description you sh shouldn't have to use this this is just for reporting bugs if it does not work for you make sure you're not running your card on boot Um, I haven't really had a whole lot of problems uh, with this. The only thing is, like I said, some programs will stop it from working. Now I'm going to make it a whole lot easier for you. So for the check, I'm going to have these in a folder called OpenGL commands. Okay, you're going to want to make a new folder called OpenGL commands by your ethernet cleanup I would hope that way you have your code together and you're organized uh, you're gonna make a program and you're gonna want to have sudo space cat space uh, I think that's a backslash or forward slash I don't, you know what? I don't really care anymore uh, proc a c p i b b switch and then Opti run the GLX spheres. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Right click, properties, permissions, allow executing as file program. Make sure that is on. Double click. I'm gonna close this real quick. Double click, run terminal. Type in your password. Um, before I go further, make sure in your terminal, at least for when you're running this, you go to uh, Edit, Profile, Preferences, or Control-O, once you're in the menus. Um, you want to make sure when command exits, hold the terminal open. Okay, Make sure it's on that. Um, type in your password. For me, it says it's broken because of this stupid thing. Um, or it'll say that if you just booted it up and you forgot to run this, um, you're not going to be able to run it from the file because it's a hack. Or just kind of hacked together. So you're going to want to copy that, control C, and then new terminal, uh, control shift V, paste it in, and in your password. It says it's on, and then you're going to want to run this again. And it's going to have the same problem. This is just because I'm running the uh, video recorder software in this terminal. Okay, guys? This, you shouldn't have the problem. It's, what is this? MP whatever FS. 
No, it's FF MPEG. Or it's, I think it's something like that. Um, it's supposed to be really good. This is my first video recording on uh, Ubuntu. I hope it's good for you guys. Something that's going to be even easier than these commands right here. Okay, you're going to want to go open your home folder. Okay, you're going to want to go down to, uh, you're going to want to hit Control H, sorry. And you want to go down here. Make sure you click on the bash RC and not the one with the squiggly next to it because this is a backup file. So you want to click on the one that says that's this, the bash RC. Uh, double click on it. Okay, you're going to want to copy this code in. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to let you in your terminal. You're going to go ahead and type in open gl check hit enter type in your password it says it's off open gl on it turns it on you can open gl check you want to do that again just to make sure it says it's on okay because it won't always do that and you may have to reboot again um there's also uh, the off command I put in there for you guys in case someone has a problem with it. Open GL off, okay? Um, that's pretty much all you guys need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture. I took this earlier today, I think. Uh, it was... No, it was earlier today, I guess. It's 3 in the morning right now. Okay, sorry if I'm, like, tired and sound tired and stuff. And I've been retaking videos all night because this stupid video recorder's not working right. This basically shows you how the commands work and that it's on. And that it works. Okay? When you run anything, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and go... Opti run, and I'll do Caro doc for an example, and you're not, you're not going to get this error right here. Just ignore that, okay? You're going to get it. It's going to pop up with the Caro doc in the OpenGL mode. Um, it works wonderfully once you get it going. Uh, be careful about your updates because. Uh, last update, I did have to do a live CD boot because the uh, OpenGL stopped working and I decided to go through and uh, reinstall. I had to go reinstall the whole OS just so I could get OpenGL working again. Um, as you can tell, it's not really hard. It takes 30 minutes for me to get everything back on and up and working. I hope this helped you guys. It helped me a lot. Uh, I wish I had someone who made a video for me that went through all this stuff. Once again, if you need help, ask me. Post in the description. Message me. Um, not giving you my phone number. Go ahead and um, if if you send me a message, I don't get back to you right away. I'm not on YouTube all the time. In fact, I'm barely ever on YouTube. But I'll probably be on a bit more because I'm gonna try to do some more. Uh, Ubuntu and Linux tutorials for you guys. So just go ahead and uh, leave your questions. If you get mad or something doesn't work and it breaks your computer, let me know. I'm a no life. I'll go figure out how to fix it for you. Okay? Um, don't go to school during the day or at night. I go like one day a week. It's not a huge deal uh, for me to go help you walk through it if you need it. Whoops. Um, so, subscribe. I'll have more tutorials coming out for Linux. My next one will be how to get Carodoc working with OpenGL and the Composites uh, Manager so you can have all the cool animations. Um, I'm going to have it. I'm going to show you how to 
have it boot up to just be the uh, open Cairo doc. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. But I'll have it so it just boots up with that so you have the cool kind of Mac OS X kind of thing going on down here. Um, that's it, guys. Go ahead, subscribe, let me know if you have any problems. All the files will be in the link in the description. I'll just have one one link to paste bin with all. It'll have the links and all of the code in it. Go ahead and I'll see you guys later. Need help? Do not be afraid to ask on YouTube. Creating an account is not that hard. I have like four that I made on accident or something. Anyways, um, I'll go ahead and catch up with you guys later.